It's an impressive sight watching a 20 meter long fin whale break the ocean's surface. Fin whales are rare and elusive animals, but one of the best places to observe them is here in the Pelagos Sanctuary, a marine protected area in the western Mediterranean. Collaborating with environmental organization Greenpeace, a group of Italian researchers is carrying out a survey of the whale and dolphin populations in the region. Simone Panigada, a whale scientist for the Tethys Institute in Milan, is keen to find out how the local cetacean population is doing. The last survey like this was done in 1992, so it's quite crucial now to have an update of the status of the population to identify eventual trends in numbers and in density. The current survey follows a number of transects through the area with different observer teams constantly monitoring the ocean surface for dolphins and whales. Apart from fin whales, the Pelagos Sanctuary is home to seven further species of cetaceans. The area attracts all these animals because the region is very rich in nutrients. This supports an ecosystem full of plankton, which in turn draws in the fish and whales. But almost as diverse as the cetaceans, are the threats facing these animals in the Pelagos Sanctuary. Heavy ship traffic is among the main risks for the larger whales, resulting in underwater noise pollution as well as direct ship strikes. Exact casualty numbers from such collisions, however, remain unknown. And then there is uh, illegal uh, fishing like drift nets that are still causing bycatch, even if it, there is a ban from the European Commission for several years now. The contaminants in the blubber of the animals also represent a major threat because this affects the immunic system. In order to get some indication of the level of pollutants in the sea, the research team is also taking water samples. Alessandro Gianni, an oceans campaigner with Greenpeace, hopes the scientific information gathered on this survey will contribute towards more strict protection measures for the Pelagos Sanctuary. Recently, Greenpeace successfully filed a complaint against the plans to construct a liquid natural gas terminal inside the sanctuary. But we understand that this is anyway a temporary victory. We understand that the industry and the Italian state they want to continue with this project and we will oppose this project. But for the moment it is stopped. For Greenpeace, the current science work on board its ship forms part of a worldwide campaign to set up a global network of marine reserves. A more strictly protected Pelagos sanctuary would be an important step and provide a crucial example for the region. And so we want to say that there is need for real protection of this very special area in the Mediterranean. It's the only uh, ISIS protected area in the Mediterranean and must be a good precedent. We do not want paper park, we want real protection for the Mediterranean. With the data still awaiting proper analysis, the low number of sightings during the survey could confirm fears that the number of cetaceans in the region has decreased dramatically since the last survey 16 years ago. For the whales of the Pelagos Sanctuary, there's no time for protection like the present.